there's a part that we have to fix to, to, uh, to make this more stiff. When you're dealing with a telescope that's more than 130 years old, there aren't exactly instructions or replacement parts readily available. There were two odd size bolts missing, and I have a lathe and a milling machine, so I was able to make the bolts. It's really important to get this fixed. Retired optical engineer Forrest Babcock and retired Linfield professor of physics Bill Mackey carefully pieced together this telescope from 1888. Oh, I'm trying to line up uh, the hole so that I can yeah, can you hold the telescope there? Yeah. We ran into a little trouble getting one of the um, adjustments completed because the gear was out of position. It's made of brass and steel and considered by some a mechanical piece of art. Okay. Interesting things about this one that you don't ever see anymore is a mechanical clock drive. It's just totally, they don't do those anymore. Yeah, it's, it's, it's moving now. The telescope was donated to Linfield College in the 1890s. It had been used as a teaching telescope. Babcock says it's meant to view planets and the moon. Actually, the entire field of view would be about 500 miles, but you could see a crater as small as one mile. Over the last few decades, it's been sitting in pieces and stored in a crawl space at the college. Linfield recently donated the telescope to the Carleton Observatory at Evergreen. I'm like a little kid on Christmas morning right now. Janet Zelke is their vice president. It's like a dream. We've been looking for this telescope for four years and we found it. Uh, COVID stopped us a little bit and, uh, and it's here and it's now and we're so excited. The telescope will be on display at the Evergreen Museum along with others in the observatory's collection. Eventually, they'll be transferred to the soon-to-be-built Carlton Observatory in about three years. Oh, and there's no reason that we need to take that off. I'm Devin Haskins, KGW News.